Hi, I welcome you in this lecture. In previous video, we have talked about how fused deposition modeling FDM 3D printer works. As we know, FDM 3D printer is used only for polymers or plastic. But in this video, we will talk about how selective laser sintering SLS 3D printing works. Basically, the major difference between FDM and SLS is that in SLS 3D printing, we use powder as our raw material. SLS 3D printing we can use for making products from metals or ceramic also but in FDM 3D printing it was not possible to make components from metals and other materials. So let's talk about what is SLS 3D printing. So SLS 3D printing technology basically is an additive manufacturing method. It creates parts additively by sintering fine polymer or metal powder particles so as I told you we can use polymer powder also we can use metal powder also when our laser beam will go and hit out the powder then powder will be melt and both will fuse together and make a layer so here as well your parts will be created by layer by layer so now let's talk about working of SLS 3D printer that how selective laser sintering works what are the different stages of working so during the 3D printing process the SLS machine preheat the bulk powder material. As I told you, our raw material is in powder form here and when we melt the powder, then the powder will diffuse and make a layer. So what they do in SLS printing, they preheat your raw material. So they preheat your raw material. Suppose the melting point is a 1000 degrees C, then they will preheat it approximately 700 degrees C. And once your beam, your laser will strike to the powder, then your powder the powder will deform and fuse easily as we have preheated it so we will preheat it then laser will be gone to your powder now a roller will apply a layer of polymer powder or metal powder then laser will sinter the powder according to the 3d file so once one layer has been completed your piston will go downwards and uh, there is one roller also there so roller will again roll some raw materials like some powder on bed then again laser will sinter the powder according to your 3d file according to your g code and uh, the platform will go down also. i will tell you the detail uh, the graphic representation of how it is works so uh, based on this layer by layer your sls metal will be completed if i talk about if i compare between additive manufacturing like SLA, FDM, selective laser sintering does not require support much structure. So the one of the best thing about selective laser sintering is that you don't need any supporting material because in, uh, we have so in FDM 3D printer that if something is in any angle like in 45 degree we need to give him support before laying down a layer. But in SLS 3D printing there is al always there is a powder present in the bed as you can see here the powder is present. So uh, once one layer will be completed then the below the layer there is al always a powder above the layer there will be powder so you don't need to give um, the support so this is the biggest advantage and that's why the material wastage is very low in SLS 3D printer so let's understand how practically it works so here in this diagram you can see this is your powder delivery piston which delivers the powder this is fabrication piston okay this is your laser and this laser will go into the scanner system. The scanner system have the system which instruct the la laser where what path he has to follow. Like G code will instruct at the scanner system, and this scanner system will give path to the laser, and laser will uh, go on towards this bed. And uh, here there are raw material in the form of powder is present here. Once this laser will in, uh, strike to the powder, powder will deform and create a layer. Once one layer has been created, this piston will go to the downside and this delivery system piston will go upside at one layer. And when it went upside one layer, this roller will roller rolling out and spread this powder onto this, fa this fabrication piston and again this cycle will be repeated and your object will be created. So as you can see in this animation also that how products are created in SLS 3D printing. Once it has been created, you, you can remove the extra powders and remove your component. And uh, the best part of this is that you can again reuse this unused powder for making your components. So I hope you got the fair idea about how selective laser sintering works, why this is the best 3D printing method by industry. Thank you. If you want to learn 3D printing from design to finished product, you can join the full course. This course consists 
50 plus video lectures and course is divided in so many modules. You can check the detailed information in description box. In this course, along with video lectures, you will get QJs, assignments and notes. After the completion of the course, you will get authorized certificate which can be useful for your academic or job interviews. So click to the link present in description box and start your 3D printing journey now.